Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Around the Fire. Andrew here. Today I got a quick one for you. Hopefully this won't take too long, but if you were in search of a flashlight laser combination for your shotgun, or uh, perhaps your pistol, depending upon the size of your pistol, I got this iProtec, uh, what is this, the RM190 Laser LSR. Um, it's a... 190 lumen LED flashlight and it's a little red dot laser on the top of it. Um, the red dot laser is activated with just a little switch on the bottom, you know, so that would be located under there. And then the flashlight is uh, activated with these switches on the side. Now it's got a cool function uh, that I was a big fan of. Uh, when you first press it, it turns the flashlight on. And then if you press it again quickly, it does a stroke function. So you can do a quick and have your stroke. Um, if you press it once and then push it back and then just give it like a few seconds and then press it again, it just goes back to normal flashlight. So there's like a little bit of some sort of timing device in there. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but pretty cool. Um, I really, really like it. Uh, this is the box they come in here. I actually have a bunch of parts for other stuff. I'll scope mounts and stuff in there right now. Um, they retail for about, uh, I think I got this one for like 45 bucks or something like that on sale. I've seen them online going for 50, I've seen them going for like 65. Just shop around, it's the, uh, iProtec, um, RM190 LSR. If you were looking for one that's cheap, that maybe you're not going to bust the bank on. Uh, I've heard a few people, um, like one video in particular, a guy said he shot his gun, shot like 50 rounds out of his gun and it no longer worked, um, I mean, maybe he just had a bad one, uh, because I haven't had any such issues. Um, it's on the bottom of a 12 gauge shotgun, uh, it's on the bottom of my kel if you've seen the other video. Um, it's a little big for handguns, because as you can see, the way it mounts is just a quick release, but it's, a, it's, a, it's pretty far forward on the flashlight, I mean, that's a good inch and a half, almost two inches. So the underside of most like uh, subcompacts or compacts, you know, if they have a little bit of Picatinny rail there, that's probably not going to fit. Um, if you have a full size, um, like an XD45 or something like I do, these fit on there no problem. But um, other than that, I mean, this is more, I think, for like a shotgun or your AR-15 you can put on the side or what have you. But uh, not a real expensive accessory. Uh, as you can see, I mean, it's going to just blind the camera, but very, very bright. Um, 190 lumen flashlight. I mean, you might not think 190 sounds like a ton because there's a lot more available out there, but 190 lumens is insane. Uh, it has the uh, little, or at least the 123A uh, batteries. Um, these things are about $12, so my recommendation to you is if you do get one of these and you're carrying it, you know, have them out of your rifle or what have you. Uh, take the battery out when you're traveling, just because it is a little easy to flick on. And uh, I have done that a few times and killed some batteries, so that's the one negative I would say about this thing. The other negative, I guess it's just the size, but when you are paying $50 as opposed to like $200 for a really uh, higher end, you know, tactical flashlight, I think you're doing pretty good for your money. So like I said, this is just a quick little review. I don't really have... You know too much to say about it because it's just it's just a little flashlight but if you had seen it in stores and you were thinking about it and you're like I don't know if that's Chinese junk or not um, I can probably guarantee you that it is Chinese junk because most crap is nowadays let's see here well it doesn't say but uh, it says division of such and such California but Yeah, Alliance Group, so, I mean, uh, odds are, the parts and crap, just like scopes and everything else, are probably made in China, um, you know, it's, it's $50, I think, uh, I've heard people say these are available at Walmart, too, um, different variations, different versions, you just gotta check your local retailer. I picked this one up at Field & Stream, uh, Field & Stream's always got some pretty good sales going on, even though I feel like Field & Stream jacks the fucking prices up through the roof, so, you know. Get it where you can, if you want it. But I say this one's a buy. Um, I think it's a pretty cool little product. Like I said, don't be pissed if it's, 
you know, not the longest lasting, greatest flashlight in the world. Like if I say, hey, go buy it and you buy one and you end up with one like that guy. Um, he did say, however, that they had really good customer service and that they took care of it. So, I mean, you got that going for you. But like I said, this one I've had no problem. So, it's cheap. It's 50 bucks. It's not going to bust your bank account and you'll have a flashlight and a laser. And that's kind of cool. Um, you know, I would never personally want to rely on a laser and I don't think you should either. But, I mean, when you're kind of groggy and you're like me, you know, you got glasses, you take them off, wake up in the middle of the night, can't see shit, you maybe had a few beers, you know, that helps out a bit. You know, I can see that clean across the room. So, I mean, you know, we hope we never need to use things like this. But, it's there. And if you want it, go get it. Uh, if not, you know, whatever. Uh, that's just my opinion. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.